um, no, the the main fifty thousand ringgit India accounts, which is roughly around. I don't know what's the currency rate at this point of time, like around 10, 11,000 yeah, yeah. 11, US dollars or right. so. Yeah. So uh, even at a very, very conservative 820 ringgit uh, a month, which is actually below poverty line, you know, yeah, they'll be exhausted within, the next, within three to five years. And that's not taking into account the, 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 the challenges of living in an urban life. So. Uh, we looked at some of the United Nations uh, reports also, whereby which states like around 90% of, uh, 80, 80 to 90 percent of households in Malaysia have actually zero assets. Yeah. So really, where do we go from here? Uh, like what you had mentioned, Mike. You know, one of the reasons why the Scandinavian countries are, are the people there are relatively happy is because you actually have a very strong social protection system in place. Of course, that is funded by a very high taxation system. But in Malaysia at this point of time, uh, we have very scattered social security uh, activities in place. You know. we, it actually duplicates, so we, get, we have leakages, we have uh, inadequate targeting to the right people also, uh, and we are starting to see this disparity between the, the haves and have-nots. It's, it's becoming sort of like wider and wider in that sense. So that is one of the reasons why we at EPF said that we need to do something about this. So EPF as a provident fund, I mean, we are, as I mentioned at, my, at the previous media session, we are not the superman of Malaysia. We, are, we, we can't solve all problems because if you want to put the essence of what we do, we collect money, we invest the money, and when it comes to the time for their retirement, we give the money back. If you really want to boil it down to that essence. But we said that giving back money to Malaysians is not enough. Because as we said, you know, the money is gone. And with a longer life expectancy, you take out your money at 55 to 60 years old, you live on average up to 75, that means you have approximately around 20 years for you to try and, and, and survive on. Okay, let's take into account also, take that. so I'm saying that you can't even take care of yourself. In Malaysia also, we're now getting into the burger generation, the sandwich generation whereby you as a working person not only have to support your children but also your parents because your parents are living older and for those of us who are fortunate enough or in some cases unfortunate enough you might also have to take care of your grandchildren so, so the, the pressures is not only just on yourself but also from the top as well as from the bottom so you're really really being squeezed so yes it is, it is a big problem in Malaysia but I think we have time but the time is getting shorter and this is an issue that needs to be addressed by all major stakeholders in Malaysia, all the government agencies, because it's not just like for the Ministry of Finance or the uh, Economic Planning Unit. You need to look at the Ministry of Health. You need to look at the Ministry of Education, for example, like financial planning has to start early. You need to start uh, Ministry of Transport, because for, for transportation, you know, it's like what you just mentioned, uh, transportation is quite hellish in Malaysia. You know? So uh, we need to provide more uh, affordable public transport, right? Uh, housing. Housing is another major issue. So on its own, we can't come up with a solution. We require a holistic solution. So which is why um, the, uh, you know, uh, EPF has been working very closely with the MOF and EPU, the Economic Planning Unit, to set up the uh, Malaysian Social Protection Council, which the Prime Minister has actually announced formation of. So we are hoping that it will be set up ASAP uh, and funded correctly. Uh, because we need to have the right data. At this point of time, we don't have the holistic data. We have scattered data again amongst all different databases, so we are not able to consolidate. We don't really know the full extent of the crisis that we are facing. We don't know the full extent of the cost that we are facing. So without knowing the problem, we can't come up with a solution. So, so which is why, again, you know, I really urge for the formation of the, the council, or in short, they call it MySpec, uh, ASAP.